Lachlan Kitchen here, joined by producer Prana Prasanna, uh, whilst uh, Neil, Neil Oja, is on holidays. Uh, we've spoken a lot about uh, the FIFA World Cup and the awards and uh, some of the great goals in the next World Cup. The one thing we haven't spoken about, Pranav, uh, that has actually dominated social media is for some unknown reason, after the extraordinary final, Saltby made his way on field and was seen posing with photos and actually breaking FIFA rules and kissing and touching the photo while many people were players and the Argentinians were nudging him out of the way. Why was he on there and what was he doing? It's a good question to begin with. Why was he there? Salt Bay, you're an absolute embarrassment to the sporting community, to entrepreneurs out there thinking, you know, it's cool to do this sort of things. You know, Lionel Messi, for example, rejected Salt Bay three times before he reluctantly clicked a picture with him. You saw the likes of Alessandro Martinez, who was holding the trophy at the time, and Salt Bay just goes up to him pulls him by the arm and says, let's take a picture, let's take a picture. And he sort of rubs the trophy, smacks the trophy, just does his impression of, you know, the dropping the salt, whatever. But th- this this person is an actual embarrassment right now. Well, talk about not being able to read the room. Oh, no, I mean, you've didn't. got athletes that have trained every single day of their lives Mm -hmm. in order to have this most extraordinary achievement of winning a World Cup. And here he is. So Salt B, real name, uh, Nusret Goki. He's actually Turkish. And he's, uh, well, he became famous years ago in being able to flick his salt a certain way and then cut up meat. I've always found him to be overrated. I, I don't understand what the appeal is of him. I see his salts and his herbs in the supermarket. I see him at you know uh, uh, one of the you know, one of the supermarkets near my place. Something. <laughs> well, what, I don't get this guy, but he's there finally getting. Uh, uh, f- it's just it's it's absurd. Kitch, let's start with this. Number one, not ju- not just not just Salt Bay himself. This makes FIFA look like a bunch of jokers themselves. Why? Because they've given insane amount of access to certain personalities certain influencers certain professionals without even considering what they could end up well, doing I, and and this is what happens they've not said right let's bar uh, uh, sort of Kaka Figo all these guys they've allowed influencers and an entrepreneur Nusrat just because he's got a million followers or whatever he's broken official FIFA rules by touching, grabbing, and kissing the FIFA World Cup trophy. Only a select few can ever do that. In 120 minutes, what the entire French team couldn't do, this guy, Solpe, did everything and more. I don't understand. It's not like it was the after party and it was littered with uh, celebrities and VIPs. I don't understand why he was even allowed out on the field. You just don't behave like that. There was a couple of times where uh, I could see he was trying to get a selfie with Lionel Messi mm-hmm. and, and Messi keeps brushing him off. Yeah. How would you have the gore to be able to actually go up and even talk to him? I'd be sitting there. Any normal person would be thinking... Oh, oh, what am I doing on here? I might just stand on the sideline because that's not my place to be yeah, on the it's field not with his these place legends. To be. You talk about shame, this man has nothing, and he showed it and the, for the world to see yesterday. And you talk about FIFA right now and the amount of access that they're giving to you know influencers, to YouTubers. It's embarrassing. Leave the sport to be all about the sport. It doesn't matter what actor you bring in, what Logan Paul, what whatever <laughs> Mike Tyson that you str- bring in. It, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it is. It is. A, it is a strange one. If you've seen the footage of the Salt B, who has been on the field, uh, he's been fraternising with the uh, the Argentinian players. He's been holding and kissing the trophy, breaking FIFA rules. What do you make of it? Do you think it's absurd as we think it is? Zero five eight six eight six one zero zero three. On TSB Talk Sport Business, Talk 100 Points.